We're going to try to show you a little bit more of uh, how we get this all set up as we go. Somebody's getting a little brave there. Cooper. Cooper, no wet. Cooper. Does he or doesn't he? Cooper, no, no. <laughs> He's straddling around rocks. Not bad, buddy. I see some wet feet, but he didn't fall in. Here are the four tote bags still on the toboggan. Out of the largest tow bag, there is the snow trekker. Snow trekker unfurled. Really easy, easy to gauge what the footprint of this thing is going to be once you get the uh, poles up. Now just to uh, drape the tent over the poles. The canvas has been draped over the poles. We've put in a few of the uh, guy outs with the uh, PVC snow anchors. And I'll come around here and I'll show you how uh, I did the last one. This one will uh, set the snow on the uh, skirt there to bring that out. This last one, this is the back. And I just put a hitch on this uh, PVC and you make yourself a nice hole see how deep that goes you put your pvc in the hole cover it with snow push it down in there a little further There it is. I also use uh, PVC in the corners as stakes, tent stakes there, you can see that. And they just uh, push right in with all the corners staked out. We've got a very nice tight pitch all the way around. And that's really the trick to uh, these tents. Make sure you get a nice tight pitch, especially in the corners, and everything just is nice and uh, taut all the way around. And if we were at the front door, that's our view. We'll now get uh, snow pushed all the way around the skirt there. Brought the snow shovel. We'll get all the tarps and uh, blankets and such put into the tent. And then from there, the wood stove. We are inside, and right now I'm uh, pumping up the uh, X bed down air mattress. And <laughs> what I have here is called a schnozzle airbag. And what this does is it fills up with air and you just simply squeeze it and it brings dry air into the uh, down mattress. And you can see me compressing it right here. It goes into the mattress there. And the idea behind this, if you use your breath, your breath has moisture so it will uh, affect the down that's in the mattress. So with this schnozzle, kind of just move it around a little bit. You do capture enough air, enough to uh, squeeze, and it is filling up the mattress. As far as inside the tent, we have uh, Tyvek and canvas over here. We set all our uh, inside tent supplies in here on top of the uh, 
Tyvek slash canvas. And then the bed, it's done. And who is taking advantage right away? <laughs> it's Cooper. I have uh, the X-Bed Down 7 mattress sitting on top of uh, a foiled uh, tarp. And then on top of the uh, mattress is uh, a wool blanket. That's so uh, Cooper's claws don't affect the uh, mattress in any way. And then he's sleeping on uh, right now a uh, quilt. We have another quilt that I will bring out a little bit later, but uh, I wanted to keep that under wraps, keep it uh, dry. It's a new tarp for me. I'm sorry, a new quilt for me, and I'll uh, show you that in just a little bit. So the next order of business, getting the stove put in this area. It's now six o'clock in the evening. We have some uh, water set to boil here. You saw the uh, bedding earlier. I brought the uh, temperature gauge down a little closer so that we could uh, get a better view of it, hopefully. It's uh, 32 degrees outside, 90 in here. So right now, what we need the uh, two cups of water for is tater tot chowder. And the first thing we need to do is uh, rehydrate this uh, hamburger gravel. Tater tot chowder with uh, hamburger gravel, cream of potato soup. So we've had dinner and Cooper's going to take a nap. Thought we'd uh, take you outside here. Let's go down to the creek. And too bad you can't see this, but all the stars are out tonight. We have a clear night. It's just beautiful out. So there's the rest of the gear. And there's camp. Whoops, I left Cooper. Come on, buddy. He's wearing a bit of fluorescence. I'll just put another uh, load in the wood stove. I guess I can show you the whole thing there. What I use for a poker is my uh, Silky Pocket Boy. I've had this now for about a year and uh, with my other saws and such, uh, I don't use this, but I think now with my uh, rucksack, I can take this out a little more often. 
really a nice uh, nice size and of course it's got the adjustable um, blade angles so that's the silky pocket boy and tonight I'm using it as a uh, poker for my uh, fireplace here So we're good to go for about another hour. Getting ready to uh, call it a night, but uh, I did mention earlier that I uh, wanted to show you something. Here it is. Very first use of this particular top quilt. And it's not usually meant for hot tent camping but I brought it along and <laughs> one of my viewers is going to say without a doubt in one of uh, one of his comments it's about time we talked about this over a year ago and this is it it's a hammock gear burl top quilt zero degree with four ounces overstuffed and I can't wait to use this uh, out on the hammock but for now we are going to use this in the hot tent so there it is and I do have the matching under quilt as well set up the same way with uh, four ounces of uh, overstuff well the river's still there <laughs> that is so nice to listen to all night it's very very relaxing having my coffee outside waiting for my uh, oatmeal to uh, rehydrate You're just seeing the first light. Hopefully, this will all uh, <laughs> thaw. We'll see. And then there we are. Heat for the morning. And again. The Song of the River. We'll go down there, check it out here. Seven o'clock in the morning. We've got uh, 23 degrees outside and 73 inside. And Cooper is checking out the uh, hammock gear under quilt. I'm sorry, top quilt. And for the most part, we stayed warm. Uh, my shoulders got a little cold, and my feet also got cold. But that was because uh, I think at one point I was pressing up against the uh, side of the tent. But all in all, we did not have a fire last night overnight, so. It got down to, uh, I believe, 23 degrees, so it did okay. Wanted to do a shout out to Ted Dad, and I'll put a link to uh, his YouTube channel. He uh, has one of these. It's a Snow Peak number one kettle, and this is really nice. I saw that. He had one using one of his uh, titanium uh, wood stoves, and I just I just had to have one. Uh, it's got a great handle. It's got a bale. It's got a lid, and it also has a spout too. Really, a winning combination. It has uh, quite a few little features for being a uh, stainless steel pot. 
and I saw that on uh, Ted's channel and I had to get one too. So uh, shout out to uh, Ted. Thanks for your review. Wanted to do another shout out to uh, this time Wandering Beast. And usually when he uh, does a gear review, I really pay attention because he has uh, never steered me wrong on some gear. And I usually <laughs> end up picking one up myself from his experience and uh, his uses, both in very cold places and in very hot places. And you'll have to go to his channel uh, to see what I mean by the coldest of colds and the hottest of hots. He reviewed one of these. Uh, this is a uh, Mifoto camera tripod. And this isn't just any tripod. This thing is built to the T's. This thing is massively strong. And uh, this is the smaller one. He was reviewing uh, one that was larger. Uh, I got the smaller one. And uh, he approached it from the fact that uh, if you have a really expensive camera and you use a cheap tripod, well, you know, bad things can happen. And um, I kind of took that as a, a piece of information to check out one of these. And these things are fully adjustable. Uh, the, the bottom legs there, they will uh, fold out to uh, three different angles. The legs themselves will extend out. This part of the shaft extends, and this part of the shaft extends as well. And then you have some adjustments there for a complete ball head swivel. So this thing is incredible. And so far, I really like it. I haven't uh, got to use it much on uh, this overnight, but uh, for the first rucksack video that I did, I used it quite a bit. And uh, we were on some pretty shaky ground, wet with a lot of uh, debris from trees and moss and stuff and this did hold its ground so really impressed with this. Uh, you can go to uh, Wandering Beast channel to uh, see his full review but this is the Me Photo camera tripod. Thank you Beast. Finally today, I wanted to give a special shout out, and it's long overdue, to a man, his website, the forum on that website, the many threads, the many members who have contributed, and to his YouTube channel. He goes by the name of Hoop. His channel is Winter Trekker and I just wanted to say Hoop thank you for all the information all the adventures all the wonderful memories that you have shared with us and in particular on your YouTube channel what I saw inspired me, as I know many have been inspired by you, to go out and try hot tenning. The first time I saw you pull that uh, toboggan over a frozen lake and then set up your tent and light up that hot stove, I was hooked and I just had to try. So I went onto your uh, website, learned as much as I could, read the many threads, 
from your many members. And I went out and tried it myself. So again, Poop, long overdue. Thank you. <laughs>